You know, sometimes, you know, you see movies about her, hear people talk about it, that uh, it's not you that finds the dog, it's the dog that finds you. Like they are on a journey and stuff. And I, I do tend to believe this story, that they do have a journey. Like Sarge here, he, he wasn't meant to be with me or to stay with me. You know, I was just going to give him some knowledge and send him on his way, you know. But different things transpired and whatever. And, and uh, I knew that dog was meant meant to stay with me. He, he did have a couple of issues that I wouldn't have put him with a family with kids and stuff. So, and I'm glad that old Sargy, you know, found his way to me. Because he wasn't meant for just anybody. You know, he takes, he, not so much now, but he took a lot of work, you know, and a lot of different kind of trainings and different settings and stuff to get him to where he is now. Now he's just a, he's a real, a pretty well-rounded dog. But anyhow, there was one blue healer I had and I named her Montana. Now Montana, her journey was not with me at all. You know, I lived in an area, there was a church that, that was just, across the street from me and I was mess working and messing around with horses at the time and uh, oh Montana every Sunday and every Wednesday she was gonna make her way to that church and be with kids that was her thing she loved her some kids and no matter what it did on Wednesdays and Sundays to keep her you know on the property you know I, I even put her in an enclosure you know and that thing had probably 10 foot you know, cyclone fence. No, every Wednesday and sun, Sunday, Montana would hear those kids. Boy, she'd she'd be over there with them. So eventually, one time I was coming back home, and uh, I had her out in the yard and in a big pen. That pen was probably 12 foot tall. She climbed that thing and and took off. Now I couldn't find her for the longest. I mean, for a long, a good three weeks, maybe even a month had passed, and I was coming. I'd come back down to visit again and going down the main road to where my dad lived on 22 and and uh, about that time I spotted her off in the distance and she's out there with a bunch of kids just having herself a big time. I pulled over and stopped the car and of course tears was coming down that I had found her again and although I hollered for her and boy I made here she come. But so did all those kids and their kids a uh, father and he we were talking, those kids was crying. They were like, please don't take Puffer. They done named her Puffer. And yes, y'all, I left Montana with the kids. It seemed that's where she was the most happiest. <laughs>